theorizing that one could time travel within his own lifetime. Theorizing that one could time travel within his own lifetime. Theorizing that one could time travel within his own lifetime. 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 But only in his own lifetime? Well, that that's the way I see it. So here we go, going to review another episode of Quantum Leap, and I want to address one thing that people have been saying in the last episode review when I said that the ship blew up. This was on Twitter and also on the video I made. That they go, that's not what happened in the original history. Listen, I don't give a shit. That's the whole point. Because I was thinking this before, uh, like, I was thinking this as I was watching the show. I was getting upset and angry, and I was talking to my friend online, and I said... You know what the main problem is? It's besides the A B storyline structure, it's that Ben is the B story. He's the B story. You don't give a shit about him. The main story throughout the entire season, because the main story is supposed to be the A story is supposed to follow the A story throughout the whole episode or throughout the whole season, right? Like an outline. What what's what's on top? What they're trying to achieve. And everything is trying to find out why Janice, why did Ben upload this algorithm with the help of Janice? What is that? That the, the conspiracy mystery. That's the A story. Ben traveling through time is the B story. And that was really pissing me off. So yes, I don't care. I didn't like episode two. I didn't like episode one. But guess what? I like this episode. I really like the show when it focused on Ben and Addison. When it was almost the same, and when they were in 1977, and it was, fo and it was focusing on Ben's, the character Ben leapt into, brother who has, suffers from PTS. That was interesting. Why didn't we focus more on that and how their relationship's really crumbling between his brother and his wife and his sister-in-law? And, and how, what his relationship like, is like with that girl and why she's hiding or keeping it a secret and, and gets to like her instead of her just being like a hoe. That's just tr switching up from this guy to the, you know, there's a lot of stuff that they had in this that was good that they could have expanded on. But no, we have to go to the <gasps> mystery, the mystery. Why is Janice doing all this? And then to go with this whole conspiracy angle when Janice meets her mom, Beth, and they're talking about it. She drugs her mother to look for the hand link. <laughs> and then she takes it because she needs that to what? Is she trying to operate Ziggy correctly? I don't know, and I don't care. I don't care about this. Uh, nobody ever thought, uh, <laughs> like, no. I want to know. I want. I want to see a time travel show where we talk about characters and issues and things without going to our woke bullshit timeline now today. It's gonna be woke garbage. But at the the kicker was Beth uh, Janice saying, "Didn't you ever think that I could do it? No, bitch." Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> That's what should have been said by the mother. No, Dr. Sam Beckett is a genius. He was a genius. He was a child prodigy. If he couldn't figure a way to get home and his daughter, Samantha Fuller, who's also a fucking child prodigy, if they both couldn't figure a way to get home, there's no way you would have. I am sorry, astrophysicist Janice. Oh, God. It was it was getting good with focusing with Ben. And it, the other episodes really didn't focus too much. And they just still didn't give Ben much to do. They didn't give him much to say. He has an emotional moment. But he can never figure things out by himself. He always has to be told things by, by Addison. He's supposed to be super smart. And he can't figure anything out on his own. Addison has to tell him. Come up with, oh, you could do this. There's only one thing he thought. He didn't even think of it. He, he questioned it. Oh, should I fight right? Oh, God. Anyway, I'm keeping this short. Because like I said, there were positive things. There were positive things I liked about the show. When it focused on Ben. When it didn't go to this stupid other angle. Please, look, if you guys managed to get another season. Because you only have 22 million viewers. Last episode. Episode 2 only had 2 million viewers. I can't imagine this episode. And this was a better episode. That's the saddest part. This should have been episode 2. Oh. Anyway. Uh, they couldn't. They could with the storyline. Just oh, they couldn't. Yeah, because the storyline. They fuck. They, they care about the B storyline so much. The storyline that sucks. I don't care. I don't care. So all oh, this is the biggest thing. Ben now 
the idea is that he's trying to go further back in time, then you're not working off Dr. Sam Beckett's theory within your own lifetime. Why even use Sam and Al and Quantum Leap? Why don't you reboot Journeyman and make a Journeyman and just have to do, do, do this shit? Oh, my Lord. Goodness. God damn shit. <laughs> this is just... I don't... I don't know. Now, he already leaped past his own lifetime. She didn't know that was fucking weird. Well, shouldn't that be the first thing that came out of her mouth? Shouldn't that be... My God, this is strange. Ziggy doesn't understand. Ziggy's on the fritz because you leaped past your lifetime. No, that wasn't why Ziggy's on the fritz. It's because Janice has co-opted Ziggy, the computer... And I put up a firewall, and my my eco proxy system is telling me that the transference of the in, the syntax system is not working. And maybe if I use another algorithm, I could convert all these gigabytes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh lord! Oh god! Focus on characters. You had a good character in the brothers' relationship. You could have developed like like uh, the wrestling episode of Quantum Leap. Of the original with the brothers and the girl too. She was a hoe, and that was like, oh lord, you could have done something good, you know. You had you were working on it. You were working on it. You had something good with that. That was the first time I cared about Ben. But then again, again, he's not doing anything on his own. And Addison, I cared about her, and I liked that she was trying to help him, teach him how to fight, and she was really into it, and she was. It was like. Shouldn't he have kicked some sort of other memory besides being punched? That, oh my god, I used to work out with this girl. Oh my god, I love this girl. This is a little bit too long developing, too. In episode 2, Sam remembered Donna Alisi. He was like, oh my god, that's Donna. She goes here. I remember her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lord have mercy on this fucking show. Anyway, it was better than episode 2 and episode 1. So it's getting better. But I don't care about your B story. I'm sorry if you have to fire Ernie Hudson because he's the only one I like. You can fire Paul Rubens because he's irrelevant. Like I said, it ended with that stupid, well, with another conspiracy. What is she doing? She took the old hand link. What the fuck? The old hand link's not going to work unless you have the fucking, uh, never mind. Never mind. This is... Another thing, I just had to add this bit on because I'm watching myself edit it. What, what, what's with the TVs everywhere? <laughs> Did people, yo, know, there weren't TVs everywhere. And in nightclubs, there were in cars in the 80s, there weren't TVs. I, think, I don't know what year you're supposed to be going back to in that club with the girl. But there's a TV in the bar. Get the fuck in the club, not a bar. In a bar, yes, there's a TV. In the club, Oh my God! Please, this is repo Have you ever heard of newspapers? <laughs> oh fuck! Focus on characters and not this conspiracy shit. End it. If you can end it, I know you're still maybe shooting. End the conspiracy. End it already. Have Beth working or Janice working for the fucking company for Quantum Leap, the project. End it. End the conspiracy. End it. So wrap it up as fast as you can because th that's a, a mook point. The whole point of Quantum Leap is the time travel and the characters and, inter and kisses with history. 